Welcome back to the Thomas Miata YouTube channel. Really glad to have you guys here. And before we get started, if you could go ahead and press the subscribe button and the notification bell, that'd be awesome. While you're watching the video, you'll notice I have a lot of people tagged. If you could also go and follow them, show your support to those guys, it would be uh, tremendous as well. Let's all just grow together. Uh, gotta give you a huge shout out to David. I forgot to tag him in one of my videos, but I got you this time, buddy. <laughs> I want to give a huge shout out to the US Drift guys. They do a fantastic job of throwing an event and I had a very great time. It's a really long video, but if you stick it out through the end, you really enjoyed it, let me know. Go ahead and share that video. Throw some comments down below. Say hi, say where you're from. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I really would just love to improve the content for you guys and uh, keep it entertaining. Hey, we made it. <laughs> no breakdowns, all right. There was a little bit of traffic, but nothing besides that, so can't worry about that at all. Coming up on the track now, check it out. I think we're just in the parking lot though. I have no idea where I'm going. Stewart's here, I don't know where he's at, but his car's here. Woo, a little bit windy out today. There he is, there he is. What's up, Stuart? <laughs> a little cold and windy out today, huh? It's disrespectfully cold. Yeah. At least the wind's blowing this way and I parked against it, so when we go in the trailer, it'll be chill. Listen. I blame Donald Trump. <laughs> it's too cold. Getting it. I want to see that thing. I want to see that thing rip today for sure. Excited about seeing that car rip. Committed service brand built it. All right, they got us driving the track. Let's get the car and really quick. Oh, come on. Let's hop in this thing real quick. <laughs> And I climb in through the window. I came in through the bathroom window. Okay, get in the car covered in dirt and shit. Ugh. Sounded like bumper. Uh, uh, can I, did I miss the drive it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Just give me one second. <laughs> Past tech, a couple of minor issues I gotta get fixed for next time, but you know, whatever, no big deal. This is my first time at this event with this car, so you're gonna find something. But they're still letting me drive, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go drive and have fun and hopefully do some tandems later on today, but let's do some test runs first. See how it goes. I'm excited, I'm ready to roll. Finally drifting this thing, fingers crossed it holds up. Gonna get Drift HQ on a drift taxi. Be right there as soon as we're done. And we're done, nice. Let's go shred. <laughs> I'm ready. Rip HQ for the win. Okay, so the first one run uh, went pretty good. I took it very easy. I only went about half throttle. I was keeping an eye on the air fuel ratios. They looked pretty good. I feel like it was in the high 12s. Basically, it looked totally fine. So um, I went from second to third. Um, it felt pretty good. The car definitely had the power to keep the tires rolling in third. So I'll probably switch down to third for entry and we'll go from there but it was all second gear nice and smooth and easy um yeah look you know it felt really good so we'll just keep working it big big oofy dumb non cam lock thing 
Yeah, I, I keep getting lost in like the last three curves. Just look at the cones. Depending on which way the cones are laying down is the way you're supposed to go. Left shoulder, left shoulder crotch, right shoulder, right belt. Remember this, guys. Nobody's gonna remember this. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, buddy. All right. tires but I feel like uh, I could probably lower the tire pressure this thing's just drifting really well dude that was awesome so smooth all right we're gonna jump out and check tire pressures and see how it's looking tread wear and all that I've gotten two passes in so far so we'll see what the tires look like after that there they are they're going pretty quick they're going pretty quick this is a this is a long track And PSI. It felt like ice out there. I'm gonna take these all the way down to probably 25. It's like a three minute process just to get into a car. With, as soon as you add the Hans. Oh yeah, you can't reach anything. You get a, it's under your Hans on your shoulder. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah, but now the other one's gone. <laughs> That's what usually, yeah. So the, the Zamp or whatever one that I have, it has like a, it has a little, um, like a slot, a channel almost. Yeah. So it helps hold the seatbelts in there a little better. As yeah, opposed these, to slipping on. I see under your, yeah. So whatever, these harnesses, they're like, it's kind of shitty. You know where like the adjuster is? Yeah. You normally can put the adjuster outside your seat. Yeah. This harness, the adjuster's inside the seat. So you can't like flap the uh, harnesses over the edge of your seat. You have to like sit on the harness. Yeah. So I wasn't really like, I kind of like them, but because of that reason, like where the adjuster is, like it's inside the seat. Yeah. Makes it a little tight. I always throw mine up on the dash, but then you risk shattering yeah, your you windshield. Risk, yeah, it actually fits right there, actually pretty good. But then the hub faces the windshield. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's only a matter of time before you get it. Yep. Throw it up there and crack it one day. Turn it off. Turn it off and start it up again. I'll get another shot. Go for it. Yeah, you can leave those on, just use the key. Don't break the car. I can try to turn out of the wind. Number two, don't break the car. <laughs> Number three, drive the car, don't crash the car. Yeah. That's pretty much the things that I need to remember and focus on. How's that oil pressure? Oil pressure is good. Excellent. Remember to cut the accu sump off. Remember to cut the accu sump on. Yeah. That kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, I feel pretty good about today, though. Yeah. The yeah. car, uh, you said you're doing third gear? Yeah, yeah. I got to hit third gear at the end of the track. I've actually never done that before. Nice. Um, anybody who knows about a TKO knows it's really hard to get that third gear. Yeah. And I've just never graduated to that level anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I got third gear at the end of the track. Congratulations, you just keep that up. Thank you, thank you.
Maybe we'll do a couple tandems here and a couple passes here when you're ready. Handler. Do you have? Oh, they're gonna not gonna let you because you don't have a cage. Yeah, I'm not a real cage. Bummer, no cage. That's dude's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Rapper Dan! Rapper Dan! We're about to go out and do some tandem runs with Rapper Dan. <laughs> go follow him. He used to run FD in an uh, LS swapped Sicky RX8. Rapper Dan! Dan, you're right there. I was left foot breaking most of the time. Sorry about some of those choppy transitions. They were a little rough, but uh, still kind of figuring out the car in third gear. So uh, hopefully our next run's a little better. I'll be following you. three passes with these and I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. So I'll probably get another two if I'm lucky out of them, which is a little bit less than I was hoping. We'll see how the, see how they hold up once they get down into the, into the crap. So I'm gonna flip these over and run them backwards. Another bit of good news is that they are going to run tandem. They're gonna run cageless tandem. So Stuart's out there, he's gonna test out his tires real quick with his wife in the car. And then when he gets back, we're gonna come back and do some tandems with Stuart. Stuart tandems. We got the backs flipped, so now they're running backwards, just like the fronts. I went ahead and accidentally put these on backwards last night and uh, haven't flipped them because I don't think it's gonna matter that much, but. Avellino. Uh, everything's looking good, a little dirty. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's all part of the game. Oh, I'm driving my Healy wheelies. <laughs> Gotta make sure I zip that pocket up so I don't lose them. My hair though, what's with the hair? What is happening? Ha ha ha! 
But hey, it made for a really smooth tandem. Yeah. That's gonna be some cool shots. He had the camera out the window and everything. Yep. That'll probably make the video right there. I mean, right now I've got cut E36 uh, and extended arms on it, uh, cut knuckles, and then I have bump stops, which I think I need to adjust them to give me a little bit less angle because I still I still get a little bit of bump. Uh, no no binding, but it's like jumping uh, when I'm going over those bumps. I don't know if that's something. Oh, is it like bump steering? It's just going like this a little. Yeah, it's bump steer. Okay. So it's probably just the angle of the tie rods. Okay. Well, it's... make sure the tie rods are at the same angle that the control arm is. Yeah. And it'll stop. Okay. It'll help stop that. Okay. Yeah, right now this is all just like hacked together shit. Factory, you know, factory shit that's cut and yeah. modified. Yeah. We'll do a little tour of the pits. Yeah, dude, I'm like, I really love this car. When it when it's on, it's so fun and it's smooth and with the seats in the back, like more passengers, getting more people in this thing is really gonna, I think it's gonna help build the audience, honestly. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a couple of helmets and have them ready because like that's one of the biggest things is nobody's got helmets. Yep. Taxi. What's up, Jarrell? <laughs> what it is? I figured I would ride with Stu for the, I mean, not Stu, him, uh, Thomas for the first couple runs because he always be breaking down and shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> Might get some camera time with him before you break. Like, shit, when we were at uh, DOD, Drips yeah, of December, I, I, I showed up, got it with him in the Miata for his first run. And literally, on the second run, his, he couldn't get in the third gear. My fourth or fifth pass, I can't remember exactly, but, but yeah, they're done. I could go until they pop, but that just makes them, that just makes them a lot harder to, uh, to take off, so I'm not gonna do that. I got, uh, I got some of the 200 Treadwear Pergias in here. I'm gonna give those a shot. Actually, I have some more Grievous. I might run those off, get a couple more passes. I'm not sure I'll ever run those on the Miata, so there's no point in trying to save them for anything. The, uh, the Miata's just too much fun to run without full maximum grip potential, you know? My second set of Grievas are probably one pass from being completely smoked, and uh, that would put me at a total of four passes for those. This asphalt out here is just eating up the tires, and uh, actually pretty pretty long run, honestly. So I think they've got like six turns in that thing. Um, so it's just gonna go fast, faster than normal. Definitely faster than at Clutch Hickers because the Clutch Hickers track was just super smooth and freshly paved, uh, and then also freshly sprayed too. So it was just nice and slick. But you know these guys. Lasting. 
it could be worse. It's definitely making a lot of smoke and making the car look good out there. I think I'm gonna be one of the better, uh, better photo people out there once we start seeing some media drop you know about that media game. Hashtag networking. I gotta get out there. I gotta get out there and start talking to those guys and see what I can uh, work up. <laughs> gotta get some good footage. sketchy for me like it transitions so fast I have the of the wind. yeah I haven't I haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet but I, I hit it on the last run I'm getting it excellent progression is happening we were just heading towards the dirt because uh, I was totally out of tread you saw chunks of tire and shit flying off it was awesome <laughs> hopefully you had the GoPros going I did not ah, <laughs> did you have somebody in the car filming no nah, ah, what, what you are you doing <laughs> Stu you wouldn't have seen it my oh, dad man. was in the car so. yeah I need to get I need to get some in-car stuff but I forgot all my GoPros today you can so, grab mine whenever you're ready. I might borrow one of Stu's. You got, I mean, if you're not using them, I'll, I'll yeah. throw it on the helmet now. All right. And well, I actually got to find air first. Air first. I have my little baby. Then I'll see you. <laughs> I only need it in the one. I'm just trying to get a weird, like a, a rolling shot of the tire. Oh, okay. Just something different, you know? Yeah, like I forgot to even tie the bumper up after that lap. Oh, me. Like the first set of tires, the bumper was literally dragging because I had that little bumper bar that I said I was going to make and I didn't make. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sure it still does. But yeah, uh, Dan's got the drift Uber. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's a conversation starter. If this is the sticker that does, it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, you got a little bit of a drive shaft issue, I think. What's up, Dan? I'm a crew guy again. Oh no, what's what's broken? It's too sicky. It's too sicky. The new. Where'd he go? <laughs> There he is. Are we going uphill? Uh, yeah. Are we going uphill? All right. <laughs> Where are we going? Please. Take me to the tire. Take me to your pits. All right. Go faster. faster. Yeah, faster. Send it. Go, 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 go. That's it? He doesn't have torque for two people. That's all. <laughs> Said, uh, Dan said, give me your man card back because he saw me healing around. Miata! Dude, like, I thought that was it. I thought you were dead. Dude, I use a skateboard. I can eat shit. I ain't scared. I can kill those and I'm desperate to keep going, then we'll mess with them. Okay. But I think, I think I'm good. Okay. Let's just save work for later, you know? Okay. Sure. Whatever you want to do. I got the tools. You don't. You do. <laughs> Fire and lighter. Chair. <laughs> have more chairs. Stuart brought food. Yeah. Grilling status, guys. Look at that at the track. Frank's gonna be jealous. Frank's gonna be like one of the few times uh, that food's getting made at the track. He's not here. Well, all you get is one person out here to get it. We're all in quarantine. <laughs> we'll all be in quarantine. Oh yeah. Directions. Oh, you want directions to get there? Well, yeah. If you're gonna shout out your uh, your car meet, man. Shout oh, out all right, all right, all right. So it's on Avon Street in Charlottesville, Virginia, right across from Beck Cohen. It's right under the bridge, it's a great spot, it's got a lot of lights, and it's a free wall. They do uh, graffiti there, so there's a lot of places. It's perfect for photographers. I promise you, I got permission from the city to do it. Don't nobody f with us, no cops, no nothing. You just can't do no stupid shit, no hood rat shit. Oh, yeah, I'll run, keep I'll, it clean. I'll run you the f off. <laughs> yeah, it's about class, it's about ph photography, you know, social media interaction. There you go, swing set LLC, baby. My man, thank you, T. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna have a full drift taxi now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your Instagram? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know, for real. Okay, well what, what do you want to, uh, you got any social media at all you want to shout out? Yeah, Luis Munoz. Make sure when you're filming, you're filming like this, just in case I can use it. 
All right, you're ready to rock. I'm ready, let's go. What's your Instagram? I don't have one. Okay, Facebook then. David Shiflet. Shiflet, all right, cool. All right, last but not least, you're squeezing in. What's your Instagram? Uh, Zach.Stoppard. All right, cool. You guys are doing the first full drift taxi ride today. guys so thomas's wheel just came off i didn't record the run but i'm pretty sure he'll show it to you off of, uh off of the gopro footage but looks like he's three wheeling it off the track let's go see the carnage all right so he's creeping it back on the grass to try and mitigate some of the damages oh yeah buddy of course thumbs up as always check this out I know, dude. <laughs> I thought the whole wheel came off. I lost the tire for sure. Emergency at the drift event. Oh, man. Emergency. Oh, no. <laughs> R.I.P. Where'd the tire even go? CT, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> they picked it up on a truck. Huh? They already went out and they, they grabbed it on the truck. <laughs> it's on the truck? Okay. Yeah. Oh man, that's a good one, huh? Dude, okay, so <laughs> I was gonna tell you that you were three-wheeling. Yeah. Cause you were actually lifting the front tire. Yeah. But then you actually decided to actually three-wheel. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was more free-wheeling to be honest. <laughs> right behind you, that sucker just popped right off. Is that what so, it was? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Down after that. 
<laughs> She's missing something. That was a fun ride back. Wasn't bad. I'm mean, <laughs> a little grassy. That's all that matters. I was uh, trying to save that rim. I know. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All righty. Getting more people in the car. Drift taxi life. <laughs> He is I think I broke an axle. Hell yeah. Something ain't right. It's on the on the passenger side. We're gonna jack it up. Oh, no, it ain't attached. There's your problem right there, buddy. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yep, that'll do it. The axle is broken, but we're chilling. We got the crew. What's up? Swing set crew. We do? You just winks that crew. No, I'm not. I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> I, no. I'm surprised you're not wearing a swing set jacket, man. Where's that bitch? Man, at? honestly, man, I just kept the drip at home today, man. But I, I, I thought it was going to be cold, so my swing set jacket a little thin. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's a little thin. But when we come, I'm coming out with some drip this year. Right, that's all I do. Good I'm going to do uh, multiple uh, locations, keep moving with that, driving, getting people driving, continue to thread the community together, keep it fun. Hell yeah. Keep it fun. I know I always have a fantastic time at Swing Set. You got damn right. We are not <laughs> bullshit. We're no good bullshit. events. That's all we do. Fuck that shit. We do not do that. We ain't about that lame shit. Bottom line. We hold wild events. It's infamous. It's <laughs> yes. what it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure we missed all of that because this phone sucks. The Heelys. The Heelys. I was getting pulled around by Stuart earlier and uh, I was looking for you. But you Who's weren't that, around. Uh, the guy from the Midwest that has roller skates. I have no idea. I think he's from Daily Drifter Media or whatever. Oh, okay. Is that what he does? He just rolls he's around? In, he was in the infield of Kill Care on like rollerblades with the stable thing. Oh, wow. It was sick. That Distracting because I'm like trying to drop drifting. I was like, man, that dude's talented. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to that status one day. One day, and when my car breaks. Look at that. Like that. Axle rubber on the bumper. <gasps> wow. VQ. Nice. I broke, I broke an axle, so I'm done. Oh no shit. Yeah. I put my Pergias on there and only got a pass and a half before I broke an axle. What was I against with you? The Grievous. Sometimes you get some decent Wait, shots. So falling's totally normal to me. <laughs> I'm ready. Do it. Go for gold. You know, about about 10 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, you know, we've been getting a Healy. We're always getting a Healy. You can go a little faster. You can go a little faster. We got it. All right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> What's up, Jason? <laughs> you got a bump, you got a bump. No, I skipped it. I, I saw it, I saw it coming. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're having a good time. You know how it is. 
So I had a really good time at US Drift, guys. The car did great. Uh, you know, the axle braking is pretty minor. No worries, no, not a problem there. And uh, we're gonna jump out, go get some dinner, and then I'll be heading home. That's right, come on up. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you to the private swing set dinner at oh. Joe's Steak and Seafood. Oh, you nice. know what I'm saying? Welcome. We got the whole Thomas home. stairs. If you would like to have a seat, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The no machine problem. works Tip everything. the hat. Yes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Exclusive. So, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you uh, make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell. Go ahead and press that thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want to see any changes or anything different. I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, press that notification bell if you want more.